Let's take a look at applying ability models. Number 25 on page 2 of your textbook. Well, we have probability distribution, the number of the type that were conducted in 2002 to 2006, and it gives the probability of each type of death based on the um, way that the person was murdered. Pleasant subject, right? But the first thing we want to do with this is verify that it is indeed a probability model. So I'm going to take my calculator out and I'm going to add all of the probabilities together And I with 1. This is good. That's the first condition of a probability model. The sum of all of the probabilities must sum to 1. And the second condition is that all of the probabilities must be between 0 and 1. So I can have no negative probabilities and no numbers greater than 1. So if you notice here, there are no negatives and there are no probabilities greater than 1. So yes, this is a probability model. And we do want to explain why they sum to 1 all the possible probabilities and all of the probabilities are between 0 and 1. That's good. Now I can go on to answer the next two questions. What is the probability that a randomly selected murder resulted from a gun or a knife? Now when we look at gun or, the key word here being or, we want to add some probabilities. So we notice we have a 0.671 probability of a gun and a 0.126 probability of a knife. 0.671 probability of a gun plus a 0.126 probability of a knife. And again, adding decimals is something I would probably do with a calculator comes out to a 0.797. What does this mean? Well, it means 79.7 .7, or almost 80% of murders are conducted with either a gun or a knife. Pretty common uh, instruments of destruction there, I guess. The next question asks, what is the probability that it, a randomly selected murder results from a knife, blunt object, or strangulation? So now we're going to look at knife, blunt object, or strangulation. So I want to go ahead and add those probabilities together. We'll take our knife probability, our blunt object probability, and our strangulation probability. And be very careful when you add these up. The most common error is actually putting them in the calculator wrong. Putting something like 0.44 instead of 0.044 can really have a big effect on your, um, prob your final probability statement. So when I add these all together, 0.126 plus 0.044 plus 0.010, I come out with 0.18, or about 18% of murders, if you multiply by 100, are conducted using a knife, blunt object, or strangulation. So that's a look at how we can use a probability model and create um, problems involving the word or.